Fire Game Scott here with Gold Rush, um, the playthrough or let's play on YouTube. And uh, as we left off last time, we were about to head west. There were a few things, a couple things I wanted to do first before leaving. I didn't want to rush too much at the end. It went a little bit longer than I wanted. So let's get into it. Um, what I'm going to do is actually open the end. Oop, and I wanted you to see this as well. We interrupt this game for a very important announcement. President Polk has confirmed the reports of the discovery of gold in California. The rush is on. Alright, so if it's good enough for President Polk, apparently it's good enough for Sierra. And now the price of everything has fluctuated considerably based upon what we talked about last time. But what we're concerned about is um, opening this envelope that Jake sent us. And we carefully open the envelope. And let's read the letter. And it says, Jared, this letter is of great importance. As you will find, I live in the area drained by the American River. Today I came down to Barry Pa. You will want to come here quickly. Only you will understand. Farewell, Jake. P.S. Bring something from home, so I will know it's you. Hence, um, something we may have grabbed from our house beforehand. Notice some things are in capital letters, too, that might come into play later on. And that there is a, uh, some holes in the envelope. And they look like they've been done intentionally. That might also play a role. Uh, one thing we're also going to do is we're going to look at stamp. There's a lump under stamp. Take stamp. And we peel back a corner of the stamp and find a gold flake. Jake has found gold. Well, that must be why he's telling us to come out. Alright, we are at 55 points. And that is all we can do here for the time being that I know of. So we're going to open the door. And we are heading west. And the game plays a nice little song. As you see, we are at 57 of 60, so we left three on the table. I don't know if all three came from talking to the boss. I don't know if we missed a thing or two. This is about all I could find, both through my memory and through the walkthrough. If anybody knows where the other three points are, like I mentioned in the last video, particularly about the uh, talking to the bank president, uh, please leave a comment. Please personal, give me a personal message, um, and maybe we'll take care of that before we leave for the other two voyages. Uh, this takes a little bit of time. Uh, it's not exactly a cruise ship, uh, but we are going to uh, put our horse and buggy on there, or our stagecoach, whatever, I guess it's not actually a stagecoach, stagecoach is the bigger thing heading west, whatever it is, um, it's going to go on the ship, and this takes a little bit of time, uh, not exactly a cruise ship as I mentioned, I've never actually been on a cruise ship, I heard they're interesting, uh, a lot of food to eat, which would be fun, though I'm not sure somebody who uh, makes Let's Plays for YouTube is uh, the person who might want to want some of that forced social interaction. And, um, okay, so it comes in slowly, slowly. I was thinking of an anecdote to tell you guys while uh, this was happening, but I think we're pretty close to um, the ship, and I don't have too many shipping or, or, shipping or cruising or boating um, uh, anecdotes for you anyway, uh, probably because I haven't been on too many boats, and the ones I have been on probably have just been little ferries for tourists and things like that. Which is probably true, I bet, for most people, unless you're a big cruise fan or something. Okay, so we have the 40, 57 out of 60 possible points. So anyway, I'll try to find some anecdote maybe later to add a little bit of uh, some color commentary to this Let's Play. I know some people obviously despise uh, commentary, but if that's if uh, that's your opinion, then uh, this probably is not the Let's Play you have been looking for. Um, and But I've noticed on some of the other ones they've done it, and sometimes it makes, up, uh, makes a little bit of space um, during... Uh, the commentary about the walkthrough, but um, in any event, I don't have anything for you right now, so we're just going to watch the boat sail off to sea, and I think, can we mo expedite this at all? No, we have to wait for it for a second. I suppose I could pause it, but we're pretty close to heading out west. I don't want to accidentally deprive you of any dialogue. Okay, and it looks like, uh, okay, so this is um, us heading west, and there's Jarrett sitting on the coach, I guess. I always thought there was a train at first, but obviously don't have a train system yet, or we would take that out west, most likely. The first stop on your journey is beautiful Buffalo, New York. You gladly get off the stage at Buffalo, I guess they call it a stagecoach, and embark on a Great Lake steamer. Okay, so we're taking a steamer, too. So it's got planes, trains, and automobiles, except for the uh, planes and trains and, well, automobile part, too. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of boats and stagecoaches, actually. Lake Huron. All right, so we get a lot of uh, little information here. I apologize if this eats up a lot of the video, um, but I don't want to deprive you. I, I don't really fully remember it myself, so we'll just uh, see this little tour. It's kind of, I guess it's not quite as interesting to hear a, see an old uh, DOS graphic map with information about the cities. 
All right. All right. So that's pretty telling us where we're going. It's not all that interesting, actually. I'm not gonna read every screen. All right. So we'll be going to St. Louis. All right. I'm always a little concerned when I declare something like there weren't any trains at the time, because I could just imagine uh, me being an idiot and not realizing that there were. But I'm pretty sure a transcontinental railroad and such didn't come later. I think it was part of the catalyst for a civil war over subsidies and such for that, but uh, that's a different story. Anyway, uh, okay, so there's another boat ride. You board another steamer. Hurry up and wait. You'll be in Independence in approximately two days. All right. So hopefully it won't be two days by our time, but it seems like it'll be uh, two days by. Um, okay. You don't look long before you find the Long Island Joint Mining and Stock Company camp set up just north of Independence. With a great deal of anticipation, you enter camp. All right. So we are done with this. Maybe it's just a long trip you have just endured, but your extremities feel as if they are cramping up. You have never suffered from motion sickness before, but your tummy isn't feeling well. You had a drink before you left Brooklyn, but now you seem dehydrated. Alright, so our poor guy doesn't look too hot right now. Um, and as you can see, we've changed quite a bit. We've grown a beard. We've Okay, uh, hopefully you can't hear that. My phone's going off, but I'm not going to interrupt it for... Um, for uh, to interrupt this Let's Play. Anyway, alright, so let's look around. This is the camp of Long Island Joint Mining and Stock Company. From the north edge of the camp, there is a great view of the Missouri River and the plains. Oh, and woo! There was nothing you could do. Sometimes terrible things happen. Well, that is unfortunate. Let me just pause the game for a second. We'll be right back. Alright, folks. Uh, sorry about that. Um, we're going to stop the video a little early here. As it, you see at the bottom, it says the dreaded disease of cholera has knocked on your door. Your misery is over. What does tell you before you actually die is there is nothing you can do. And I believe when it happens to you on the ship, you actually have to restore from before you got on the ship. It's just one of those random things that happens, kind of a nuts to you um, present from Sierra in this game. However, I've tried it three times, starting from different locations, and uh, it keeps happening. I did a few things like buying fruits and vegetables at the store, but that doesn't help you. Fruit. The orange helps you ward off scurvy, but uh, the rest of it doesn't really do much for you. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to lose the rest of the video, so I'm going to post this with this kind of unfortunate ending, and I'm going to go take a look and play around with this, and uh, hopefully in the next video, hopefully there'll be a next video, we will be in uh, tip-top shape, even if I have to start from the beginning, and uh, be able to continue from here. So I apologize for that, folks. We're going to cut out a little early, and uh, at least you got to see one of the random things that can happen to you, and uh, some of the unfortunate fairness that Sierra often presented. So uh, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time, hopefully in better health.